I can get rid of stupid dogs, that'd be nice. Oh, I can't get rid of Grove. I have to, well, if I do, I have to bring something else. I could bring Village. So these are great. These are great. Those are great. These are OP. These are okay. Help a lot for not getting overwhelmed. What, how do I know the loot level of runes? Why are runes high level? Loot. That's just not where we want to be on this guy now. Could run that instead, but I'm scared of runes. The fact they spit on me from the tile over is pretty nasty. I could try it, see how it feels. Let's try this. All right, let's check it out. Map three, I guess. Okay. Not a great spawn for us so far. Let's hope there's a good round of ooze spawns here. Do I get stuff for going through them? Yeah, it does. So we spawn here. So we really want the runes like right about there. It's not near boss, it's diagonal. I can't reach the boss, right? There's no way that reaches boss, right? There, that would reach boss, right? Very shitty first round of the map so far. Is it really 5 p.m.? You fucking kidding me? This game eats time. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Man, I just got up and had a break too. I'm like, ah, I didn't even look at the time. I just went and grabbed uh, water, etc. This is a tomorrow thing, huh? All right, where do we want spider cocoon?
I'm gonna draw. This map is sweet. So many nice things like that. So where do we want spiders? Early in, perhaps? Like maybe right there? I won't get any right now, but I might get some for the spawn after. Max HP is max HP. Okay, Vampire Mansion is alright, although it's a bit late. I want the spiders. Oh, the worms like run away too, right? Okay. Could be over here. Good work, worm. Good fucking work. Is there a place I can play this vampire mansion? I want this whole area for leveling our guys. So probably not. It's probably over here at the best case. Even that's not gonna work, okay. All right, spider for draw. We're already on loop two though. So tempting. The short term benefit of vampiring right there would be great, but the long term is going to be terrible when I build the location over there. Can you just spawn already? Spawn me a second one over here. Okay. Ah, oh, so close to useful. So far away still. The map is almost too good, right? Like, there's no locations to put, like, these mediocre spawns. I guess I can do it back here, right? Like, the first two are going to be... Our skeletons are going to be in here. Along with our, um... Whatever they're called. Battlefields. So we could just do vampires back here. It's a lot of coverage. Okay. What does this thing do now? Alright, another spider cocoon. Dude, it's already up to three. Do I want vampires and spiders? Not really. Seems great. Do worms have souls, chat? Three. Okay. 
They do? Nice. In this game. Yeah, to be clear, I wasn't asking us some uh, deep philosophical discussion. I was just wondering about the character here. Dude, this worm drops the best loot I've ever seen. All right, we're taking worms from now on. These things are amazing. Drops me like plus twos and plus ones on levels. We're strong, boys, we're strong. To four? That seems a lot. Crystals and worms? Hmm. Okay, isn't this spider supposed to be spawning in one of two locations? Because so far it's only spawned on that one location repeatedly. I do have Oblivion that can drop this. I did just place all my cards. I don't really want card sharp. Somersault any good? Could we try a counterattack build? We're not planning to build a bunch of guys a bunch of um like four stacks of enemies i don't remember which boss this is either although Om omnicron's technique is awesome this is act three should have i gotta update that sorry i guess i just take the resurrection because it's so good later but it seems it's entirely useless right now yeah Dude, the worm's spitting on me. Fucking worm. Get over here. And a bookery. I forgot we had bookeries in. I forgot all about bookeries. What of these do we want to keep playing? We want spiders out. Because spiders are great. Now, do I want another road lantern? Probably. Just suppression. Can discard these three. Pretty happy about discarding those three, in fact. I could even discard two if I want to play another meadow. Do I care? I don't care about a meadow. Okay. disabled me like 25 times. I see spiders got a buff at this level.
All right, fighting two worms. To <laughs> level five weapon. Good work, spider, or a uh, worm, rather. Yeah, I'll take that. How about over the worm's ability? It disappears, right? It just runs from us sometimes. I don't know what his third ability is. I've never hovered over that. Uh, what does this do? This is max HP, counter, and evasion. I forgot I'm not actually holding those quite yet. I should learn why they're so easy. It's probably something to do with like if you engage them in melee, they're like a ranged guy or something like that. Sure. I'm annoyed the slime keeps spawning directly next to the worm. About to find out what fucking happens. Should read that again. My brain's fried right now. Okay. Takes part in a battle on adjacent tiles. Range combat, third row. Minus 30% damage, second row. Minus 6% damage in first row. Retreat, desperate. Unit's damage value is multiplied by percent of his missing HP. Okay. So it doesn't like being on the front row. That one escaped. That one died. That one escaped. Pretty nice right now. So are these worms who escaped gonna spit on me as I walk by and hit this slime? Of course they are. Oblivion's up, nice. First cemetery, feels good. They're kind of they're kind of annoying because they're escaping. So I guess I put them over here. Happy to get rid of the meadows. I need one of them. A bookery. I haven't done my damage here. Why am I not doing anything? Does all the things. Counters, evasions, vampires. I, don't, I think I just prefer regen. Alright, those are up. Do I need another spider cocoon? We've got quite a lot of spiders coming around this area. Maybe in this area somewhere? Right there. Okay. Dude, the worms just outscaling the gear seems great. Everything else seems so far worse than just having more worms on the board. First piece of vampirism has some value. I'm not sure I want this thing that spawns the mountain thing. The peak. I'm not sure I want to be fighting harpies right now. Another bookery. Another runes. <laughs> How many runes are too many runes? The fact that the worms sometimes survive is super, super dangerous. 
And the fact that the slimes refuse to stop spawning directly next to the worms is kind of pissing me off. Through a road lantern, suppress some shit. I don't want more than three worms. Seems reasonable. We need a cemetery? We absolutely need a cemetery. We need a vampire mansion or a bookery? We do not. Okay. Treasury seems good. Are we already through there? Come on. Why didn't it pause when the. I think bookery should pause. Just lost my ability to play a battlefield. these harpies. Okay. Dude, look at this. These worms fuck my day up. It's not good. Slime spawns. What was that trumpet thing? Oh, the ghost scared them. And possibly a level up. Okay. That was some loot. It's a big DPS shield. What do we pick up other than that? Damage to all, escape vampirism, okay. Evasion and regen on that. Lose quite a lot of damage. Currently regening 1.2 off the armor. It's level 6 here too. Doesn't do anything. I don't think we want these. Certainly don't want the level fours. Vision and regen those nice stats. It's not gonna happen with that either. So the question is, what about this one? That seems like it might be worth. Let's see what the skeleton gives us. It gives us a fucking worm shooting us from behind. draw some cards off these. We're taking a lot of damage. Worms are really hard hitting. I gotta figure out the best way to deal with them. I hadn't thought, I hadn't really calculated in the fact that they were gonna spawn uh, oozes near them. And the oozes were gonna make me take a million damage from the worms. Yeah, starting with villages is probably a good call. Didn't have any villages in this deck. Didn't think I needed to bring villages. I 
but our sustain is pretty fucked right now. Second ooze just spawned right as I attacked. Alright, alright guys. We get that uh, shit spawn yet? Not yet. Calm them down, how many they can have. I could bring it down to two. <laughs> There's literally a harpy standing there waiting to screw us. Kinda need to calm this shit down though. Already is calmed a little bit. Um Okay, I'll start there. Do we want to run these out? We want to run that one for sure. Have to discard stuff. Am I okay discarding right now? Yeah, I think I am. Another runes. I am not convinced another runes is where we want to be. Can they help each other, chat? If I'm fighting one set of worms uh, and another set of worms is next to them, do they help each other? They can. Okay. Problem is, these eventually fuck us, the bookeries, right? They become something really nasty. Our sustain is no way near up to the task of what we're trying to do right now. I liked our deck, it did what I wanted it to do, but I just didn't really understand that worms and oozes were gonna be a problem. Battlefields needed. Not really. Okay. Needed some actual HP regen. play it there. Already has a diagonal. Fuck. If I played that on the other side, it would have been great. Okay.
again, our econ is amazing, but our uh, power level of our character isn't good enough. I feel like this is my lack of knowledge how to build the warrior to do anything. I'm like about to die here. Enemy scaling is really noticeable too, like the third abilities. spawners but I am building a pattern and I am building my pattern deliberately I mean, we're gonna heal here fight the worms we have a resurrection still so we're good to keep rolling right now I wonder if I'm cracking these now or not I did not need that treasure chest to spawn Wait, why did I not get two potions back? Do you only get one on this level? You probably only get one on this level or something horrendous. All right, butchering worms is probably solid. Evasion of vampirism, maybe. Evasion and regen on the shield. It's our current shield, 15. This is much better. Should have looked at this first. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we're good for this. Could pop these if I need them, but I'm not sure we're gonna get stronger from item scaling right now. We're pretty ahead in items, it feels like. I forgot graveyards get skeleton archers now. I also want to stagger graveyards, I guess. Seems like village is going to be good just for a card that shit can't spawn on. Another bookery. Archer spawn behind us. Turn kind of nice. Wouldn't mind suppressing this down to two worms, probably. Okay. Bookery for replacing that one in a minute. Could just let that bookery go. We have another lantern, too. Didn't even notice. Where? Here, maybe? Okay. 
Do I need another cemetery? Not really. I could convert this area. I'd rather not. Okay. Let's see what our level up is. In just a second here. Gonna go fight worms. We're gonna end up throwing the cemetery out. I'm okay with that though. God, oh, dude, the fucking ooze just spawned. Get me wrecked by worms. Nice double oblivion here. I guess I could just oblivion this preemptively. Two worms here. Gonna be below 30% HP a lot. We don't have a lot of regen right now, but it's a chunk. Is that worth anything to us? It's such a weak skill overall. I don't think it is. I think I'd rather single target stun here. Yeah. I don't want battering rim. Don't like it as much. Alright, killed the worms. We got two more worms beating on us over here. With a harpy abating. F chat, F. I don't want to discard the oblivion. escape so attack us when the treasure chest spawns all right level seven shield with defense and vampirism not good enough okay all right so what are we doing here we are placing mountains until gobbo spawns and then nuking it with oblivion i think Okay. Thing is, if I keep this right now, we're gonna hit six cards here. It's gonna go to two. We're gonna lose our oblivion anyway, so we might as well just nuke this now, right? Any reason to wait? I don't think so. Worm spawn behind us. They're so dangerous with anything near them. delete the worms I suppose but I'm sure I want to do that so we're gonna go three more on this I lost my oblivion huh that sucks didn't even notice it happening or is it time to crack these we're not gonna do another cycle right we're not as close to summoning the boss maybe we are doing another cycle some synergy too. Okay. Four spiders. I 
What's that? Cemetery again? Okay. If we keep running all cemeteries, we're going to need magic damage. Do I want to pop these? I think I can wait. Do I need anything now? Not really. Love to play out the meadows, but it's not super, super amazing one way or the other. The loot off those things is crazy though. Why are we attacking the Harpy? Kill the spider, man. Uh, primary target is spider, not Harpy. So the Harpy is unkillable, clearly. What does it do on the third level? Gains one defense for three seconds after being hit. Okay. You want more runes? I mean, a little bit. But I probably shouldn't. It's probably not seen. One other bookery. Always the worst target. Straight into the vampire. Our damage. It's not scaling for shit. Unexpected spot to be dying. Dude. Quit attacking the dumb ones, please. HP worth anything here? Barely. Forgot I can equip my items for HP, that's true. Correct. Attack the right target first there, it's good. You get a bookery? No, I drew the other ones. Spiders at 164 HP, no vampire support. We are going to trigger the other location in a moment. And we're going to have to use our respawn, anyways. Okay. So, what are we at? 13% vampirism, 20% evasion, 5.5 regen per second. So, we have okay defensive stats. Armor's at 23. Seems good. It's worth playing these out. I really don't think they do anything. Uh oh. We've angered the giant book. What does it do at level 3? Magic damage, chaotic. It's just gonna kill me, is what it's gonna do. Oh, it's infinitely evasive. No, don't get it. Nice! Alright. Evil book thing down. Now we just have to kill the slime. It. 
Metroid Harpy learned to shut the fuck up. Four spiders coming up. No uh, vampires, though. Could add a vampire. Probably not what we want to do. I don't see getting through this loop again. Not without some major changes, and I'm not sure what the major change is. Do we add... I mean, we have the respawn. We're gonna get that. We might as well just do it. Village. <laughs> Two uh, suppressions, nice. fucking spiders to calm down. So the heartbeat definitely kills us if we fight it. Do we just nuke it instead? I've got to deal with that still. Not the amount of healing I would like. But that is us to the next loop level, so we can flesh out all of these and see what we get. the harpy. Alright, what is this doing for us? What would we wish to change to if we could chat? What's our like ideal strat right now? It's not damage all, so what is it? Attack speed and vampirism or something? The late game? That's a 20% attack speed with magic damage, seems good. here not much that's a no that's a, a no it's a maybe tax speed and evasion but no life steal that's a no that's a no okay Another bookery too. What are the items we pulled? Damage to all counter and regen. It's not gonna cut it, even though it's a level seven, which is a little bit interesting. I mean, it's gotta actually be better than what the fuck we're using right now. Okay. Vampirism, Evasion, it's 
probably good enough for us. We need some source of vampirism. Vampirism counter on that. Damage range is kind of shit. Alright, do we have more to pop? We do. Okay. Fusion and regen. It's actually a really nice ring. That's garbage. Oh, I forget that it goes backwards. It's so weird to see them not ordered the same way. Um. I mean, we're definitely moving through another loop here. So I guess we just start fighting it. Two HP when we hit him. Counter. Stop the garbage, please. I killed both worms, though, I believe. So they're not going to be spitting on us. It's a four spawn of skellies right now. Can we handle that? We have no magic damage right now. Okay. Maybe I just equip this for this fight. Think about it in a minute if we want to do something different. And Prism is totally missing right now. Alright, let's try cleaning through this. Could suppress, but I don't want to. Kind of do want to suppress these guys again. Get them down to two. Uh, and what else I'd like to suppress? This four pack of fucking spiders. Okay, calm down. Alright, see how it goes here. Ah, uh, double archers crushing us. Just give me like 12 items. Am I supposed to have 12 items right now? Dude, that has attack speed and magic damage, just like the other one. Wow, too bad we don't have double rings. I don't know what the hell we need to actually survive, but... Alright, we've drawn like 99 weapons again. What's our current vampirism at? 24%. Current magic damage is... 20. So that's quite a lot higher damage. Drops shitty counter as well. All right, let's keep cleaning, I guess. Uh, do I want to play any of these things out? Um, yeah, I guess I probably do. there, I don't think it matters. 
think I popped all of these. I can't see the one up there, which is kind of frustrating. Hide resources, I see. Okay. Thanks. fill these in? Probably. Can't believe we don't one-shot things right now. Be gentle, please. Magic damage, damage to all, regen. Let's do it. A little bit more damage, we're in one shot range of things, I think. Yeah. The books just spawned? Cheater book. Off, huh? Vampirism on the armor and magic damage, but counter. It's kind of uh, a ridiculous amount of loot coming in this game. All right. Their road lantern somewhere. Calm the spiders down. Got another bookery which we don't need. Could pop this chest. Alright. Magic damage on the shield. Do I care about vampirism right now? I mean, I probably do. Okay. Ooh. Carried by items I looted? Yeah. Turns out things you put in your deck impact the things you do. Who knew? damage on that too. I'm tempted. Tempted. The pop-ups. All the things. Nobody thinks just like rotating through my inventory. 27 to 41, we lose the damage, we gain the lifelink. Like the damage is really good. Uh, I don't want to play a battlefield, I do want to play a treasury. Another treasury too, I didn't even notice we drew it. Okay. I 
haven't summoned the boss yet either with this number of cards down. You out of here, Calric? Next level up coming in probably this fight. One experience away. I'm gonna hold these oblivions, we're gonna have to toss another one. Any things harassing us right now, like evil books or anything? No. Goblin camps, I guess. Treasury. Oh, I should take the level up too, huh? protection. Let's do it. I'm right, gonna discard three here. Don't want to discard the oblivion. It's probably okay. waiting what are we capped on we're capped on blue marbles we're probably pretty good here to leave i mean we can maybe take the boss we'd have to do a whole nother loop not sure we're strong enough to do a whole nother loop with 100% evasion is kind of rough. Ooh. Attack speed, evasion, and vampirism. And magic damage. It's tempting. Chat, what do you think? Time to go. Feels like that was a pretty successful little run. Capped stone and marble. Preserved rock and stable metal, I guess. I might not make this run. We might, though. We have a lot of magic damage. Skellies are pretty reasonable. Got more road lanterns for suppression, too. does call poll I don't know man two hours over today didn't mean to do that just kind of lost track of time I mean the fights aren't really hard right now we're just taking a little bit of damage yeah capping on the resources is the problem we're not gonna gain meadows from walking around we might gain a little bit of stable wood. we won't gain stable wood from walking around the metamorphosis stuff I don't know where that comes from I think it comes from like this shit. I don't think it comes from the board right now. I don't think we can get much more is a problem. All right, so I think we're leaving. Although I wouldn't mind staying. I think we could handle another loop, but I don't think there's any benefit to doing it. So, all right, I need to save here chat. We'll be back tomorrow. So uh, let's uh, get out of here. It saves, right? If I hit exit here, okay. Let's hope it does. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll continue this playthrough. 
Um, do anyone remember, was that the, that was our fifth loop or six? I guess we can count it there. Either way, our next one will be number six. So we'll play from there tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Have a good night.